Hello, seventh graders. Once again, Mr. Donovan here with a brand new lesson and assignment for this week. So let's get into it. Um, it's going to be vocab. Once again, as I warned you, uh, I have five more terms for you. These are the ones that we did uh, two weeks ago right here, um, the week of the fourth. And so we had a new Newzella article last week. This week, we're jumping back in with some brand new terms. So let's take a look. Uh, first of all, we've got acts. Acts are the units of action from drama similar to chapters in a book. Now, this is not to be confused with acting or actors. Um, those are terms that define the sort of, you know, the art of acting um, within theater. Acts are what break down a show. Um, most shows have two acts with an intermission in between. Uh, however, you do see some plays are much more epic. They're, you know, in three acts, Shakespeare's were often uh, five or six acts. Uh, so it just depends. Now, if you want to break it down further, they're further broken down into scenes. That's our next term. Parts of the act in a drama um, changes with uh, setting or time. Uh, usually that, that is what a scene denotes. Uh, we're changing the time frame. We're switching to another time or another setting. Another place is what setting refers to. Um, so those are the scenes within the act of a drama. Dialogue. Those are words spoken by actors in a drama. Okay. So the script, um, that was one of the words from last, last week. The script that the playwright wrote is full of dialogue. Um, a play or, or a musical is filled with a lot more dialogue usually uh, than a book is. A book is a lot of exposition, a lot of describing, uh, and people certainly talk, but that's not the what's in the forefront. Whereas in a script for a play in particular, it's pretty much all dialogue. And then there are some things in italics that refer to what else is happening on stage, the action on stage. But usually that is fairly left up to the director and the actors to figure out. Um, so that is dialogue, the written, the actual words that are spoken within the drama. Monologue. <clears throat> now, that is a version of dialogue that is only one person. Mono, meaning one. A long speech given by an actor alone. Okay, this is usually so somebody completely alone on stage or at least isolated in some form. Um, they are often, it, sometimes it's, it's almost addressing uh, the audience or it seems to be, but it is usually kind of inner thoughts, um, something internal uh, that is coming out uh, or a story that somebody's t telling. And actors often use monologues uh, to audition for shows because it's a great way for an actor to do something solo and not need somebody else to either interact with or uh, to sing a piece of music to. Um, props is the last one. <clears throat> Props are small movable items that the actors use. Now these are different from like set pieces. Set pieces are large things that are either behind or, you know, the furniture pieces. That's all part of a set. Um, and then it's not costumes either. Costumes are the things that you wear. Okay. Um, this is technically a costume piece, right? This would be a costume piece. If my character were to wear glasses, this would be, but, However, if this becomes something that transfers to another character um, or is used in some way, left on a desk and therefore then has to be picked up, has to be set there, um, then that sort of becomes a prop, right? Um, but a prop could be something like, you know, uh, a wallet or a, um, a purse or um, anything, anything that is, is something that you can sort of move and carry easily that is, you know, helps tell the story. That is what a prop, it's short for properties. That's a long version of it. All right. So those are your five terms. Let's quickly revisit how we do this thing. Going back to my slideshow here. Let's make my face a little bit smaller and move it over here. Actually, you know what? We're going to keep it over here. So this is the slide that I made um, uh, last time we did this. Take a look at that. And now take a look at again real quick how I put that together. Let's break it down. There are four elements once again that these vocab slides have to contain and they are first of all the vocab term. This was my example. This is not one of your terms. Audience, 
its definition, that's number two, an image of some sort that helps, you know, identify what the term is. And then, of course, a sentence. Use it in a sentence. Again, some people were a little bit um, confused about that. They would write a sentence that um, described the word or helped, I guess, define it further, but they weren't actually using the term in the sentence. And that, that is the idea, okay? Um, and again, this is one I created live for you. I'm gonna do that one more time just for fun, okay? So let's create, you know what, let's not do that. I'm gonna do a brand new one. This is something I'm sure you guys know, but um, you can pick sort of a different, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay within my template, but pick a different format. All right, so there. Cool, that's a new one. Uh, let's grab let's grab one of these terms. I am going to just do dialogue, okay? So dialogue, let's go ahead and plop in the term. Ooh, gotta spell it right, Mr. Donovan. There we go, dialogue. And let's literally go and copy and paste the Definition, that's the easy part. Come on, computer. There we go. Why don't we take this text and we go ahead and make it a sentence. Um, let's see. The dialogue was so contrived that the characters really weren't, whoops, believable. All right, and take that, I'm gonna move it down a little bit, make some room for our Image, all right, so let's go ahead and plop in an image. Search the web. I could literally do dialogue, see what comes up. Some good ones, pictures of actual scripts, things like that. Um, little thought bubbles, that works. I like that, let's grab that one. But you could plop in talking, you know, you could plop in um, something about the script, something about words. You know, there's a, there's a couple different ways you could go about that. But there we go. There's my image. And let's just make this a little more pleasing to the eye. You guys are not, you're more graded on your content than the look, but if you spend a little more time on uh, the look of it, I can't help but enjoy that. So go for it. Let's make that match that. And there we go. We have a slide. All right. It's just that simple. Just that easy. Once again, the word, the definition, an image, and a sentence. Okay. And I like to do this as well. Let's go ahead and so that we pump out that word. Whoops. Man, having trouble typing today. So that we make sure that is nice and prominent. So there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, your five theater terms. Please plop them into your existing slide. Um, you should have attached to this assignment the, uh, the sheet, the doc that has all of the new terms in it. And you should also have your individual slideshow that you can add this to. All right, have a good week. Talk to you soon.